All right, Shalom, all praise, this honor, glory goes to Yah, Bashem Shai, Bashem HaKadosh. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you fellow Akim out there pushing out this word. In truth and sincerity, Ishbel Khanat coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashem Shai, Bashem HaKadosh. You know, I want to say Shalom to all the believers. Uh, 2000, 2020, year prophecy. Esau Edom is uh, still in power, as we know. That's the so-called white man, and he's pushing out his wicked agenda in order to bring in the RFID microchip. You know, he has uh, agents and uh, agent provocateurs set up amongst the camps, amongst the whole world to basically, you know, him bring in a false flag against the Israelites. Cause don't don't uh, for one second think that Esau Edom uh, you know, takes this Israelite movement, you know, uh, he takes it, he, he, he doesn't take it serious. He takes this very seriously. Okay. From the elites on down, they take this very seriously and he's going to try to use that, uh, against us. He's going to try to use, you know, uh, our belief, you know, and our belief in the things that we believe in within the scriptures, he's going to try to spin it you know, cause that's, that's, that's Esau. He's the master, he's the master magician. And he's going to try to spin it, uh, to basically turn the whole world against us. Okay. So he can come in and roll on us. And, and, and this is the same tactic that he does against these other nations. Whoever doesn't follow suit, you know, uh, and, and get on board with his plan. What does he do? First, he demonizes them. Okay. And he, he basically creates a narrative, okay, to get the whole world behind him, okay? Because he just, he knows that he is going to get, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, feedback, negative feedback if he just goes into a nation and just takes their resources. But what does he do first? He creates a boogeyman, okay? He does things behind the scenes, and then he paints that leader or that country in a negative light, Okay? And then he creates a false flag, blames them, and then gets the American people, the international community behind them. And then what does he do? He goes in, he bonds them, he takes them, he takes control of the land, he steals the resources. He destroys that movement. Okay, he has his agents. The same thing, uh, you know, uh, the same things are going on uh, right now. But see, this time, Esau Edom, he's not going to succeed. Okay, he's not going to succeed at getting the elect. Okay, he's going to get two thirds. He's going to deceive the majority of the people, yet he's not going to uh, deceive the elect. Let me bring out this scripture. I have a couple of scriptures prepared, but let me go into Matthew as I've been speaking, because he has a demonized, uh, you know, uh, he wants to demonize the the children of Israel, the the uh, the Israelites. And here and there, he'll have certain, you know, videos that will go up on mainstream media. Okay, he'll he'll allow those things because he's slowly, slowly seeing how the people are going to respond and are going to react to him until he finally, you know, uh, uh, you know, comes in. This is Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false messiahs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And, you know, Esau, Edom is, is part of that false messiah, false prophet. Because uh, what's throughout the whole world? Well, throughout the whole world is Esau, Edom's spin on the Bible, which is plantation Christianity, which is his different forms of, you know, Christianity according to the Bible. And people take that as, the whole world takes that as, you know, truth, you know, uh, you have to teach the Bible a certain way, okay? And and Esau Edom, he's uh, he's the he's the man that's ahead of that. He's the man that's in head of that. Okay, you have to go to his colleges, you have to go to his schools. You have to basically believe the same thing, or you will be considered crazy. Okay, so we are considered crazy, and also we are considered dangerous because of the words that we're saying. All right, we're saying that we are the true Israelites. OK, and what would that make the so-called Jew that would make him an imposter? OK, and then you have, and then if that if he truly is an imposter, 
and he is not uh, the, the people of the Bible, then you have to question everything that this man says. Okay, we're telling the whole world that he's Esau. Okay, that is something that from the elites down, they've been trying to hide. Now, not all e Edom know that they're Edomites. They're finding out now whether they believe it or not. But that was the knowledge that was, you know, hidden for a, a small moment until the spirit of the Lord came upon, okay, his elect men to preach that. And then at first it was cute, you know, Esau, Edom, he didn't pay pretty much no attention to it. Even Jake didn't pay attention to this word. But since now the tithes are changing and the things that we've been saying out of the scriptures are basically coming to pass right before your eyes. Okay, Esau Edom, he's taken note of that, okay, and that's why he has his his uh his agent provocateurs, okay, his different infiltrators. Okay, they were doing that uh during the time of Yahweh Shai, so it's the same it's the same rules apply now, okay? You're gonna have infiltrators in these different Israelite groups, and then you're gonna have agent provocateurs and different agents that are gonna try to come against the elect and try to paint the, the Israelites and you know, a bad light, okay? And they're going to try to incorporate this movement of being a, a, a carnal movement, okay? Yet this this uh, this uh movement that we're in, okay, it's not a carnal movement, okay? It's a spiritual movement. Let me bring out this scripture here in which we, we do not uh, preach or teach, okay? Same thing. We do not preach or teach, uh, uh, you know, you Israelites to take up arms, Okay, to fight against this man, we teach the the the, uh, the exact opposite. We teach to agree with our adversary. Okay, knowing that uh, Esau Edom, he's our adversary, and that he's over us as far as power wise. Okay, and you know to follow to follow the laws of America if they do not go against the laws of Yah Bashemah Shai. For example, when this man brings in that RFID microchip, that directly goes against. The law of Yah Bashma Shai. We were we were told specifically not to take that mark. Also in the law it says not to make any cuttings in your flesh. Okay, so there's there's certain things that Esau Edom is pushing now and is and, and it's going to implement that we are going to take no part. We we are going to teach against. Okay, so we're teaching against this man's system because his ultimate goal is to chip the whole world. Okay, so we are opposition. Uh, against that so what does he want to do he wants to destroy us okay yet how how are we combating against this man well we're combating against this man by words through the spirit and we we uh disagree with anybody saying that we have to take up arms and take this man down that's not how we are going to be delivered we're going to be delivered spiritually okay by yavash Shai. he is the one that's fighting for us okay yeah, he has given us uh, weapons. We, uh, he has not left us unequipped. Okay, he has given us this truth. Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So all these tactics that Esau, Edom has, okay, the wicked elite, they have, uh, you know, in store for the future, for now and the future, the things that they've done in the past, none of those weapons are going to prosper. Okay, he, Esau is a carnal man. OK, so he ultimately he's going to come in when all his, you know, his deception and his lies don't work. What's his his main go to, you know, uh, his is his, his, uh, M.O., his modus operandi, I believe if I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly or his method of operation. What is it? It's by it's by, uh, through the sword. OK, it's by destroying you, by taking you and basically. Just like the time of the, the Greek Empire, when you read the book of Maccabees, they pretty much force Jake, OK, uh, to 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 basically put away their gods and to sacrifice, you know, swine and, and strange flesh to put away the law, statute, commandments with uh, the threat of death. And that's what they're going to do in these coming days. They're going to threaten us with death. And some of us are going to actually be. Put to death because we are not going to agree with this man. Okay, we're not going to take his mark. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. So we, we that's our job. Okay, our job as the prophets is to condemn, okay, the so-called white man and any 
any spirit that comes against the spirit of Yah Bashmah Shai. Okay, and we are going to be demonized for that. Okay, we are going to be pushed in a negative light. He's going to have his witchcraft media. Okay, he's going to go full force. You already see that he's already, you know, doing test run, you know, with claiming, you know, the so-called black Hebrew Israelites. We don't claim to be black Hebrew Israelites. Okay, but he, see, he has the mind of the masses of the people, which, you know, you can have the mind of the masses of the people because the masses of the people are going to be destroyed. Okay, we are only here, okay, to speak to the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. Those are the only souls that are allotted to be uh, to be delivered. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and we are the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Okay, so no, no weapon, okay, that's formed against, okay, the, the, the true prophets are going to work. Now, Esau, Edom, he is going to be able to get some of, you know, uh, uh, our people with these different lies that he's pushing out. You know, he's going to turn the mind of certain people. That's that's OK. That's that's totally off. That's totally fine. He 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 has been given power to do that. But as we read in Matthew 24, 24, that you would not be able to deceive the elect if it were all possible. So you're, you're going to come with some great deceiving. You know, you don't have I mean, he can possibly well will have, you know, some some holograms and. You know, the way that he he has uh, prospered in his sci fi and his his media, digital media and editing and stuff like that. And his different programs. Look at look at the different movies that come out and the different things that he's able to do. OK, the different technology he's able to he can he can copy your voice. He can he can copy your face and your facial expressions and your movements and he can put them all. He can literally put them on, you know, TV and make it look realistic. OK, this is uh second Corinthians 10 verse three for though we walk in the flesh. Yeah, we're in these bodies. You know, we do fleshly things. You know, we eat, we drink, we sleep, we sleep. OK, we go to work, we deal with our families and stuff like that. We're in the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. So we're not carnal. We're not going to take up arms. OK, we have we know through the spirit that Esau Edom, he's our enemy. OK. And what would you do with your enemy? You would go to war with your enemy. But we are going to war with our enemy, not by the flesh, but by the spirit. OK, and it's going to go into that, how we are warring, OK, against Esau Edom. OK, this is the same thing that was happening. OK, uh, Jacob and Esau uh, inside the womb of uh, Rebecca. Uh, basically, that was a microcosm of the struggle and the fight that will take place throughout history. And um, specifically in the last days, OK, we are warring with the, with the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. OK, yet we are not. Our blessing is not is not the sword. OK, our blessing is wisdom. OK, is this truth? And that is the highest level weapon. OK, that you can obtain. OK, because this weapon does not uh, work on, you know, the physical body. OK, let me before I bring this, let me uh, before I come back there, let me bring out Hebrews is to show you how powerful the words of Yah Basham Yah Basham are. I believe that's Hebrews four. And 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 best believe you uh, these words are are getting to this man well the very fact that when we speak these words yabash he he uh he brings the words to, to pass okay he brings the the scriptures to life okay because the, the scriptures were written down and said that all these different things will happen in the last days you know in the beginning in the middle but in order for those things to happen yabash mashai had to have the prophet speak these things so the the prophet is now speaking these things. So now is the time where Yahweh Shemashah is making these things happen. Okay, and from our apostles and elders on down, they have been speaking these words for thirty plus years, and even before that, you know, going all the way back to Abba Bivens, which is which was Elijah coming back, which was a symbol, which was symbolizing, 
you know, Yahweh Shai bringing the children back to him. Okay, bringing out this word. And this word now is fruitful. So it's now it's increasing. Uh, Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of the Most High, Yahweh Shai is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Okay, and that two-edged sword is just symbolizing any weapon that's out there. Okay, this this word is sharper than any weapon that's out there. And Esau Edom, he's an actual weapon. Okay, he is the sword of Yahweh Shai, okay, the Heavenly Father on the left hand side. Piercing even, even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So when we speak these words, it doesn't hit you physically, you know, it doesn't, you know, cut you or chop your head off or it doesn't put bruises on you, but it hits your soul and your spirit. It hits you from the inside. So much that, you know, people go crazy. They can even kill themselves. OK, they have all these different dreams. And even to the point to where Esau Edom, he's going to basically have, you know, these different task force, these different military and, and, and government agencies come and grab us up and of the joints and marrow. And is a discerner, discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, because this uh, this this book basically, you know, uh, it goes deep inside of you and, 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 and basically it exposes your heart. OK, and that exposed uh, Esau Edom's heart. OK, and, and pretty much it has found this man out. OK, this word has found this man out to be a liar. OK, to be a murderer and to be a thief and has exposed him for who he really is, according to biblical prophecy. And that is something that he has been trying to hide ever since he came into power. But now it is his time to be uh, uh, revealed because that's what the prophecy uh, uh, speaks about. So us receiving the spirit, us being able to break down the words, OK, us having the true names of Yah Basham uh you know, that in itself was Yahweh Shah. That was divine intervention. OK, which Esau Edom, he can't put. He, he, he can't, you know, put his finger on like what ha what uh, exactly happened physically, because this was not done physically. This was done spiritually by Yahweh Shah himself. OK, because he was held to his word. OK, he's held to his word. That this what was this is what was going to happen in the last days. He was going to wake up certain men, okay, and he was going to give them the comforter, which the com the comforter says that it will re it will re basically reveal all things unto you. So I'm back in Second Corinthians ten and four. So ultimately, right now, it it might not seem like you know the prophets are winning, but the prophets are winning right now, okay? We we are winning the war. OK, the information war, the war on your souls. OK, the, the words of the words of the prophets, which are the words divinely uh, inspired by Yahweh Shemashah himself. OK, they are waking up the elect. And that's what this is all about. Remember, you know what? You know, let me let me go to that. In Revelation step in Revelation chapter seven. Sorry, at the top. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm just going to start at the top really quickly and read down because the, the, the end goal, you know, of the prophets, you know, speaking is is uh, being delivered. OK, that's the end goal. We want to be delivered from what? The coming destruction. This see what you're not understanding is we're at the end of this thing. OK, we're at the end of our reincarnations. OK, the, our next so-called carnation is we're going to be changed okay we're going to have that eternal body we're going to have that fleshly heart okay so we're at the end of the story right now okay revelation 7 and 1 and after these things i saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor nor on any tree yeah revelation 7 okay we, and what does revelation mean? It means to reveal. So John the Revelator, which that's what they call him, on the Isle of Patmos, he received these visions. Okay, and he received the vision of the end. And this is part of the end right now. Okay, the revealing of the end. So he saw these four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, 
holding the four winds of the earth. That wind is speaking about that nuclear destruction. There's many scriptures on that. You know, I'm not going to get it. Uh, you go in Isaiah the 24th chapter, where there's many scriptures on that wind. Okay, that wind is speaking about the nuclear destruction. Because that's the that's the end game for this place. Just as at one point in history, the Lord He flooded this place. Okay, so now we're at the time where the Lord is going to flood the world with with nuclear missiles. Uh, primarily, America is going to be destroyed. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So you see that those winds were to hurt the earth and the sea. OK, that nuclear fire saying hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead forehead. So there's a. There's a uh, exemption from judgment, okay, for the servants. Another another word that you can replace with the word servant is the elect or the remnant, okay? The elect or the remnant or the servant of Yah Bashamashai, they are going to be delivered from uh, this wind that's going to take place, okay, which is that nuclear destruction. You can uh, read, uh, what is that? This is the curse that devoured the earth, okay? You can read, uh, that's... That's in uh, Zechariah. OK, also going into the chariots. Also uh, in Zep and Zach. That's, uh, I'm sorry, Ezekiel. That's in Ezekiel and, and Zechariah. It speaks about the plague, which your 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 eyes shall be consumed. OK, and their sockets and your tongues and a mouth and your flesh upon, your, you know, upon your body. Basically, the only thing I can do that is that heat from those nuclear missiles. OK. So the Lord, he has his elect men that are going to be delivered from that. Let me let me bring that out. The one uh, let me just bring both those scriptures out. This is uh, Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eye and looked and behold, a flying roll. And he said to me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. What what uh, the prophet Zechariah saw, he saw a chariot and those chariot sightings are increasing. Okay, more and more people are seeing those chariot sightings. And Esau Edom, he knows that those things are here. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, this is the curse. See, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off. And who has stole pretty much the whole world? Who has stole America? Let's, let's just stick with America. Who has stole a whole nation of people? OK, see, Esau, Edom, and there's laws uh, for human trafficking. OK, you have to be put to death, Esau, for every one that still shall be cut off as as on this side, according to it. And every one that swear shall be cut off as on the on that side, according to it. So those chariots. OK, let me go to the one with the nuclear missiles. Uh, those chariots are going to be. Uh, a curse unto you, you Edomites. Okay, yeah, they're coming here to destroy you. So here's the plague. Also, this is uh, Zechariah 14. So, because those nuclear missiles are also known as a plague or even a pestilence, the pestilence that walketh in in noon at noon time, or the noisome pestilence, as well as it, it can also be called a plague, because this is going to plague you Edomites as well as all you wicked people of the earth. One moment. Zechariah 14 and 12, and this is the plague, and this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Now, who, who have fought against Jerusalem? Read Psalms 83, okay? The head nation, Esau, Edom, Moab, Ammon, uh, Japhet, Ham, Ishmael, all, all these nations, they fought against Jerusalem. So this this plague, we're going to read about it. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Now, did this come to pass? What would this be talking about? Why would this be in the scriptures? Because this is a future prophecy, which we know through spiritual divine intervention. OK, 
Okay, the Lord waking up our minds. He gave he he gave us the understanding to know in in the times that we're in now that this is speaking about only one thing and knows and that's uh, thermonuclear missiles. That's that wind. Okay, that was that's being held back at this moment right now. There's angels right now that that are holding back to the destruction. Okay, of this place until Yahbashma Shai seals his his very elect. Okay, so let me just go back and just finish up. Well, I have one more scripture that I wanted to bring out in the book of Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter. And then we'll go back to 2 Corinthians 10 and finish up. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 9. Let me start up because it's like almost like a little parable. Uh, verse 13, Ecclesiastes 9 and 13. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city and few men were uh, uh, were in and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in a poor. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. OK, and that symbolizes, OK, the elect. And he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Never, nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are are not heard. See, so the the wisdom of the poor man, because we are the we are also known as the poor. The wisdom of the poor man is is despised. Okay, Esau Edom, he's going to try to change his wisdom uh, that we have. Okay, in in the way that he's going to push it. He's going to put a negative stigma on it. OK, he's going to basically turn the whole world against us, which this whole world is already against us. He's just going to further that. OK, because what we are saying is is is, is totally against this world. OK, everybody's on the same page as far as this place, you know, America. Everybody's OK with Esau, Edom running. Everybody's OK with the Illuminati. Yeah, here it is. You have all these people that know about the Illuminati, know about their bankers. Know about the corruption, know about these pedophile rings, but they're not doing anything about it. Okay, as long as they have, you know, money coming in, as long as they can please themselves, okay, Jake, as well as all the other people that know about these things, they're okay with it, okay? So, so, what, what do you people have to say, okay? You, you, you just need to be destroyed, okay? But see, Yahweh Shemashah, he has us doing something about it. We're proactive. We're just not speaking these things and not doing anything. No, we're we're uh we're uh walking the walk. Okay, we're not just talking the talk like you people. Because what do you do? You go you you buy into this system. We were told to depart. We have departed from this system, meaning we we have depart. Our minds are out of this place. Okay, our minds are towards the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and our minds are towards the destruction. OK, against the enemies of Yah Bashem Shai. OK. The words of a wise man are heard in quiet. See. And the, the small sanctuary, the ones who actually, you know, listen to these videos that adhere to these videos. That's a very that's a no, that's a very small number. Uh, you are listening to this. Uh, you are you are hearing this in quiet. OK, this is. Because this is not pushed throughout the whole planet Earth. All right, there's no we we're not we're not on mainstream TV. Okay, but these different advertisers and these different platforms where you can listen to these different these these epistles these videos, the, uh, our videos are not being monetized. Okay, there's a, a basically you know a gag order. Okay, on the Hebrew Israelites, you can't speak about the Hebrew Israelites unless the the elite. OK, the elite say, OK, you can do that. All right. They got to approve it. So the words of the wise. Let's read that again. The words of a wise man are heard in quiet. See, more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. That's Esau Edom. So even even though Esau Edom, he's going to push. He's he's on a heavy campaign to demonize us. He's on a heavy campaign to continue to, to push out his incantations and his, his different you know, uh, witchcrafts, okay, uh, and, and his, his different, you know, 
spells that he's casting. Yet the, the elect are still going to hear th these words. OK, wisdom is better than weapons of war. See, wisdom is better than weapons of war. OK, understanding the wisdom of Yah Basham Shai, that's better than a weapon. Because a weapon can be destroyed. OK, but one sinner destroyed much good. And look, look at this damn double. OK, <laughs> in power, you know, we don't have to break that down. Okay, when he uh, when he came into power, uh, what is, how, how does the scripture say? Uh, wickedness increased. First, first Maccabees, the first chapter. So let me just finish up in Second Corinthians. I'm gonna start at three again. Second Corinthians ten and three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay, so our our wisdom is what's is what's uh you know what we're what we're yielding, what we're wielding. Okay, the sword of the spirit. Okay, that's what we're wielding. And what's what's happening? We, we cut we cutting up uh, uh, Esau, Edom. Okay, and his and his lies, his pseudo sciences. Okay, his philosophy, his way of life. And now people are starting to question this damn devil. Okay, and his revised history. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. See, we're not carnal men. We're not going to pick up arms, even though they're going to you know paint that picture. We we ain't got no no damn guns. Why why would we go and fight against a man that the Most High set up? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, uh, the scriptures speak about resisting the powers. Did what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, "This was my kingdom. My servants will fight." So Yahweh Shai he had power to destroy everybody, but what did he do? He did the will of he did the will of his father. And he his his job was to go on that cross to be. A sacrificial lamb, okay, uh, to bring back the children of Israel, and we have him to thank for for us getting this word now. Okay, this is the reason why we're able to do what we're doing now. Okay, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty. So are we? We have might through the Most High. So that's where our might is. Okay, through this wisdom to the pulling down of strongholds. And Esau, Edom, and his his philosophies that he has been laboring uh, since a youth, they're, they're strongholds. But see, this word has broken those strongholds on our minds, as well as other elect members, okay? And it's only going to continue while breaking down all these lies. Esau, Edom, he's being broken down. He's being cut up. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And the knowledge of this world, the wisdom of this world, okay, is exalted, okay, exalted, uh, has exalted itself over the most high, okay? And who has pushed that? Well, Esau, Edom has pushed that. As well as these other nations are complicit, okay? They're accomplices uh, to Esau, Edom's and his crimes, okay? They have to pay for their crimes that they have committed against the apple of the Lord's eyes, which are the elect of Israel, Okay? The Lord, he sees all that. So we are set up to cast down all those imaginations. OK, uh, the, uh, the son of the most high being a, a, a so-called white man with long blonde hair, blue eyes and pale skin. The angels being white. OK. The, uh, the, the, the Big Bang theory. OK, the evolutionary theory. OK, uh, and even going into more of the. The esoteric information, you know, the spiritual information, uh, you know, Esau, Edom has a twist on all these different things. Every Everybody's God is the best God. No, you're going to find out that our God is the only God. OK. And how are you going to find out? You're, well, you're going to find out when all these things that we saying, you know, uh, when you see us really, when you see us getting beamed up in those chariots and then it's going to really, really set. It's going to set in then, but it's going to really, 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 really set in. When we got your ass in chains, all right. <laughs> when we got you in chains, that's when it's gonna kick in, all right. So prepare yourself and bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. See, so that's what we're set up to do. We're we're set up to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. All right. That's why we follow the word. And not our own vain opinions. Okay, our vain our vain opinion has not gotten us anywhere but slavery. 
okay, and heartbreak, okay? The only way for us to, you know, have some type to, 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 to prosper, really prosper as a nation, even though two-thirds of you bonehead monkey, monkey-looking monkey Negroes and Hispanics and Native Americans, you don't think on that level. You're okay where you're at, okay? You know what? We don't, you're, you're not even part, you're not even part of the, 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 the equation, okay? You're just trash that's going to get taken out. But you know what? You're going to you're going to be righteous. OK, you're going to be righteous when you come back. All right. And you you are going to understand your faults. OK, and you're going to have your head down for a minute in the kingdom, but it's all through the spirit. OK, you're going to come back because you're going to be what? You're going to be the children of the elect. Of the hundred forty four thousand, you're going to be the children of the hundred forty four thousand. And you're going to come back righteous. All right. And you're going to think you're going to think Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're all going to thank Yah Bashma Shai, especially, especially once we once uh, this man goes down fully. Okay, we're seeing this man go down right now, but especially when this man goes down fully and we're in the kingdom of heaven, we get delivered. Okay. So, yeah, Esau, you and your your scare tactics, you and your diversionary tactics on, you know, demonizing us and, you know, trying to. You know, militarize the Israelites. No, you got certain Israelites that are gonna fall follow suit. You got you got sellouts among the people, but that is not going to fool the elect. And ultimately, remember, the elect are going to be delivered from everything that you try to you know try to do. Because the Lord, see, Yahweh Shai, He's going to actually step in. Okay, because you're going too far, Esau. You're going too far. All right, so you know, I pray. That, you know, you elect members out there throughout the four corners of the earth were edified. And you, you two thirds of you bug outs, you're going to soon be destroyed. OK, you Edomites, you're, stu you're going to soon be destroyed. Your only hope out there is is if you are Israelite. And then from there is to follow Yahweh Shai and follow the true prophets where which the true prophets are, you know, um, I'm saying this in confidence are the brothers a great millstone and that are teaching the same things that we're teaching, whether or not you are from great millstone, you're teaching the same doctrine. Okay. From our apostles and elders on down. That's just the way that it is. Okay. So until next time, shalom to the elect.